Well, hello everyone. Let's see if this is live. Perfect. It's live. Blessings and light, everyone. So much love you on this blessed Sunday, day after yesterday's powerful gateway. I haven't been on here doing a live for a little while, so welcoming all of you. Hello, Demetrius Learning. Thank you for your messenger message, Demetrius. So I've to all of you, I just wanted to come on live and uh, check in with everyone, see how everyone is doing. The gateway building up to it, and of course we're still in it. It was very, very powerful, the magnitude of it. I did share quite a bit of details about it on the Friday Tea Time Ascension talk on our other YouTube channel on Friday. So here, I just want to jump on here and um, and uh, check in with all of you, see how you're doing, how are you adjusting. As um, I took off a few days to really be in board, I was very grateful that um, Michael also um, allowed the space because he had a lot of hip pressure and he got a chance to go be with at his mother's house, which, you know, we're in apartments so over there is a house and it allows him to really ground energy. And I really wanted to be with myself because there was a lot that was coming in. And sometimes you really need that space to really dive in inward. And, uh, and when I dive in inward, um, there's a lot that, I am meeting within myself, within my bodies, within the consciousness that is communicating within all parts of me and all souls aspect that wants to be hearted and heard so that I'm not denying any part of me in its expression. So, and usually what works the best is I grab like, paintbrush and all that you see let me see over there I'm painting the rest of the I'll explain that in a minute the second phase of the paintings of the mighty I am presence as I'm calling this eternal flame in very strongly and I felt this has been a huge part of it especially these past 10 days wrapping up all the energies of 9-9 all the completion cycles and then moving into this 10-1 this one the, this one gateway of the 11 and being able to literally walk through the corridor and meet with the ascension frequencies and what these ascension flames are here to allow us to transmute whatever has surfaced because whatever surfaced within us it's also part of the collective that is called to be transmuted and transcended back into light so there's a lot that obviously had surfaced in me and then, then we go into the completion day of it online, and then we enter into 1010 10 yesterday, which was very, very powerful. Uh, the magnitude of it, sort of like jumping in a 10th degree and walking through the, through the gateway hall of this 11 and being supported by this 2020 energy and grounding it. So one of the most important things is how to ground this frequency. A lot of times we have the head pressures, we get ex excited, we have more experiences with lights and codes and languages and symbols and, and rays. And unfortunately, most individuals don't know how to ground it. So what happens is the walking around with this, like if you want to look at it, this expanded frequency here, and then it's it's not streaming completely in because it is not grounding. It is not fully hurting. And you need to be able to have enough time for yourself afterwards to ground the energy. So those of you that were able to be in nature is beautiful. Being able to really use the medicine of tree and just ground the energy deep into the heart of Gaia is very, very key. Being able, that's why I usually have to make some kind of painting because I'm able to pull it in, hone it in and just pull it in. And during that place, I'm 
you know, usually chanting and um, and uh, in some sort of how would I want to say this? It's this internal universe that is contacted by the higher verse and I'm able to stay in that place in its vibration, movement and breath. And then I'm able to pull it in and watch how it is moving in my bodies and pull it in and what, while it's coming, what is surfacing. So often we experience this and we go from then one to another, to another. Often we like, for example, watch a video, then we go to another, then we go to another. Never time to ground the energy. And uh, one of the things that in my personal life is extremely important and the very, very few close friends I have, I've, I have chosen to interact with the ones that are very grounded. Um, there are clients I have that are ungrounded and that's okay. But in terms of close interaction, individuals who are very grounded, that's the one that I that I'm drawn to and I interact because um, it, it takes more maturity and discipline and higher self-love to ground the energy. Often the ones that are from one to another, I actually find them quite uh, dangerous <laughs> because they cause so much harm to themselves and others. And there's just that, frankly, lack of maturity and there's not really a judgment because they haven't taken the time to ground the energy for the wisdom to come in, for the wisdom to become the, the messenger from the way it's radiating its light. So having said all of that, I um, wanted to share with you. So oh, let me bring this down real quick. Uh, you knew last week, um, two weeks ago, I was dedicated in, in um, bringing through in these three days the frequency of the diamond of the first ray of light, which is in the blue flame, God's holy will, the will of God, the, the, the power in it to replace the human will. And in that decree of not my will, not my will, not my will, let thine be done. That's where I wrote, I posted it. So it took me about 18 hours then being able to put the specific crystals here and the living language of light that I did on which the video is there. So individuals can really benefit from this living vibration to hone in and call in the higher will into their presence. Because in order to go through this, this next phase that is coming up for us in the planetary ascension, in the golden age, you really need your higher will. It cannot be the, the human will. The human will is very, very limited. It is connected to the matrix. It is connected to the electro field that is connected to the mind. And in order for you to be pulled out of that, to be your divine sovereign being, you really got to connect to your mighty I am, the higher, the higher you in which everybody is part of. And that ascension flame, the first ray of it is this blue flame, which is very, very powerful. And that's why I was asked to make this available for as many people take the image and um, for example, I printed a couple of these to give it to a couple of my closest friends um, like this. And I put it on my, my telephone screen as well. Put it at your altar. You will be able to, it really will work solar plexus. And if you need that extra strength from the heavenly realm, from your Christ itself, from your I am, not mine, because I can't own this, it's been brought in. You can really call it in and strengthen your ascension flame. So having said that, I had to um, take some time for this. And then this weekend I was called to, to do the second portion of it, which is the, the actual triple flame. The blue flame, this one, as you can see, is dedicated to this one. The next flame is the the yellow flame, which represents the illumination, the light 
of the mighty I am, the eternal self red flame. And the third ray is the pink ray of light, which is the love of divine through the mighty I am, the great I am that you already are. So this part is dedicated in the second portion of it, which I'm finishing up today. This um, this took eight hours yesterday, and today I'm taking a little break now so I can finish painting it and putting it all there. So I'm dedicated in this area in just pulling this frequency into earth. Art is a huge expression in grounding the energy. That's why many of you, like if you, if you were with me last year, you saw these were the light ships that with the languages um, last year that I was working with. And whenever I experience them, I have to pull them and create some kind of art and make that available for others. And so everybody else can benefit. When we start working at this level of consciousness, that in which we create is the creation for the collective and it's open to all. So it moves from this conscious presence that that has been part of the third dimensional reality that I have to trademark it, my name and all of that, it moves out of it because it's the entire you that wants to express itself through the entire planes and wants to benefit everybody else for its upliftment in its ascension flame. When the ascension flame radiates to the frequency that is transmitted it assists in that upliftment. So yesterday was very, very interesting. And um, I've been in here very, very grateful being in this space, very grateful, but also have the alone time. And this was so necessary that I really, re that I really recognize on a personal level how much I have been needing to have this alone, alone time. And... Um, Hello, Chris. Hi, Dimitris. Hi, Lisa. And thank you, Lisa from New Zealand. And how much I needed to just be by myself. So the gift of Michael being able, able to be away for three, four days was so necessary. And, and I felt like we were speaking. I was like, I need even more of this because I there's all this frequency that wants to come in and I can't be in communication and interaction with others while I am attempting to hone this in. So there's this horizontal plane, then there's this vertical plane that wants to come in. When we access it in the horizontal plane, we're accessing the infinite perception of it. And then when we're able to tune into its frequency, then we can pull it in when we put it and we're putting it through the vertical axis, and that's the unity of the sacred divine feminine, sacred divine masculine, unifying it as one so that we can pour it in. And pouring it in, we're pouring it literally into Earth's grids, wherever we are. So I being outside in Washington, D.C., we're in a crystal field. We're right on a grid line that it meets underneath Washington Monument. So everything that we do in the vortex of where we are, we are blasting it through all direction so that all within this, within this diameter is being benefited for the upliftment of its own truth of the light. So the cellular memory can begin to remember its nature of the holy eternal flame, the self-fed flame that can never, ever be, um, if it can never go out because it's in separation of the attachment of this garment. This is a holy garment and the outer vehicle of expressions that we have are our design. So this, this remarkable, original spark of light is able to come in. So once I finish this, it's really going to radiate that um, divine spark from the, from the soul inception of our origin of creation. So I really wanted to bring that about because many times when we go through these gateways, yes, yes, we are wherever we are, but that necessary space 
of, of creating this space where we can go through this corridor, be in that quietness, in that stillness, so we can be inside the frequency, outside any stimuli. For example, I, gosh, like I've never, I only drank really once in my lifetime and I got so sick. That was when I was 25. That was that. I only smoked pot once in my life and that was that. I'm just not designed to use, ingest any of these things. I don't take any of these because I, I'm called to use what the holy present already gifted to itself so that I can use the breath to access whatever plane of consciousness dimension to communicate with in its frequency and bring it here. So there isn't any, you know, there isn't any need, but when I do get quiet and I'm able to go to that rhythmic pattern of the chant. So for example, with this one that I did, which is not my will, not my will, let thy will, not my will, not my will, not my will, let thy be done. This is a very powerful one to assist me for the higher will to come over me so I can put it in. And within that, then I'm able to visit what has surfaced and be able to walk through this corridor of this particular gateway when we go into like yesterday 10 10 it's really an 11 and it is the self meeting itself in its mighty i am so that all that needs to be seen within the eye of the beholder can fully be seen and then we can we can choose how we wish to interact in its expression so that it is not this human self is making the choices from the joy and the love of the grace of the Holy Christ itself or the mighty I am wants to express itself in this plane and bring the, the frequency of light in its materialized form into this dimensional plane just for the pure purpose of service. Hopefully that, that really helps in, in its expression. And what I found individuals don't quite make this time. They usually like to numb themselves with some kind of alcohol or cannabis or some kind of outside stimuli or distract themselves. Or even a lot of times within the medical, within the metaphysical spiritual community, they do a lot of that to just so much distraction even though you can use the oracle cards, but sometimes you can distract yourself so much as a way of not fully coming right into the center to own. Because once you own it, you can't then <laughs> step away from it. It doesn't work that once you own it, that becomes the, the truth in which what you are is not what you were operating from. So from that conscious awareness state becomes a higher responsibility in how to delegate, how to navigate the powers of this lightning force that is you that wishes to express itself. So you will be able to you have no choice but to do it responsibly. So as a result of it, one of the things that shows up is in your solar plexus, like the, the post that I did yesterday. The solar plexus, your sacral, your root chakra, your earth, earth star chakra becomes such a vital importance of you being to ground the energy, the grounding of the frequency of this light codes from the great central sun coming in through the galactic sun, through the Helios and Vestas, our grandfather, to us, through the sound codes, they, they want to be able to be luminous. So as a result of it, you have to be able to pull it in and shift these lower, lower chakras to their divine rays of light that they're intended to be. 
So there's a lot between in this gateway that shows up and you do need time to integrate it. I am, a, I am really thirsty. So let's see yesterday. I, I, this is, this was my food. <laughs> and so it's green juice, coconut water, and I'll be diving into that a little bit more right now as well to be able to wrap this up. And, uh, so, and ground it. So today, uh, have I fully grounded it? No, because I feel once I finish that one, then I can ground it even deeper. Then I can take it into the, its prayer and um, allow the, the octave of light that I have now moved into because my environment has to be shifted. So one of the conversations Michael and I had this morning was like, okay, Michael, this is an old template. This is an old template. I don't resonate with this anymore. So I can't go anymore supporting the frequency of this from this point forward. So what's it going to be? You know, like, um, how do you see this? He's like, I agree. It's like, okay, so then this is tossed out. This is tossed out. So this becomes also the action in this dimensional plane for you to put it in some kind of movement again often individuals experience things in the higher dimensional plane in their upper chakras but because they're not grounding it they walk around creating heart harm and hurt to themselves and others so they're walking um disasters i find it because they go into another experience, another experience. It's like, like they constantly just want to be high. And to ground it, that means they're going to, they literally have to like ground, get quiet, get centered, get into their body, bringing it in. And many people don't like that because they've used um, these gateways as sort of like a spiritual escapism. So to also say, well, oh my God, this happened or this happened. I have contact with this, all of that, and then not grounded. So speaking of contact, I just wanted to share also my dream, what took place last night. So towards the morning, I was, uh, I was having a dream that in Washington, D.C., in one of the streets near the White House, I was in a, I was in a car um, several streets back, and then I saw above the sky, I saw this one um, sort of like a, almost like a grayish perfect cloud. And I looked with my eyes and I saw these um, few airplanes circling. And I was like, and I looked again, I'm like, those are not airplanes. I saw there were light ships circling and the light ships started beaming certain lights. And as they beam certain light above them, this opening happened like almost like a stargate with nebula and it was this like like you could see into another universe from right there and i was seeing all of this and all i wanted to do is like try to capture capture this this um, picture i was like michael was in the car i was like michael give me the camera give me the camera meanwhile me and Michael were in the car. Michael had the car on drive, but we were actually driving reverse. And I was like, what is going on? All I wanted to do is take this image. And then um, right as this was happening, there was a building there in the building, which nobody would have ever known. This, um, this, oh God, how do I even say this? This object that looked like kind of like a rocket ship, but it was see-through. You could not tell this was there because it was um, camouflaged in um, in like in clear glass. You would have never known, but you could see it when it moved. It moved out and it and it lifted up um, towards um, towards the sky. And I was like. Oh my God, trying to capture all of this. And meanwhile, I'm trying to, trying to attempting to see if I can take a picture of this so I can post it for everybody to see what was happening in the sky of Washington, D.C. So am I surprised in this? No. You know, is there, was this another contact? Yes, I've had so many contact with the light ships, not in, just in dreams, but 
right like literally like right outside the window since i was a child many different beings seeing them like literally in the room and they would show up and uh, and you know all the different things that was taking place monitoring the bodies and then communication being able to communicate with them last night i was not in the language of communication i was more seeing the the start the stargate opening above washington dc that open up to another universe and so what i was receiving with that was that yes what took place 10, 10, between 10, 10 and 11, 11, we have this window. We went through the nine and completed a lot of cycles of frequency in this 2020. It's been, a, it's been such an exceptional year. So then we have 10, 10 to 11, 11. And there's this consciousness, the two things that are taking place. One is the conscious awareness that of our multidimensional selves being extraterrestrial beings in human form that are carrying advanced knowledge and awareness from many different civilizations that we have come into this into this incarnation so that we can now literally anchor the frequency onto Gaia in delivering this golden age. That's why the arts are so important, the way they're transmitted coming in. That's why so many people are more drawn to sound, healing, crystals, you know, light language, because it's all opening up. That consciousness is opening up in the cellular memory. The other part of it is Washington, D.C., we are positioned here. And those of you who watch my video on Friday Tea Time Ascension talk regarding my dream about Trump, um, the couple of the times, what the other part of this has to do with those of us who are incarnated, particularly in this region, in the DC metropolitan region, we are carrying these frequencies of light. We are supporting the grids here that for a long time were utilized for, let's say, um, agen agendas that were less than the divine perfection, the divine light. Yet that also is part of the divine plan. So I, I feel this is one of the things that's not understood. Even though we have these dark forces, the dark forces are part of the divine plan, which most individuals, because they're so afraid of them, they don't recognize their role. So once we recognize that the divine expresses itself in multiple ways, and also within this dark force there is a part that is part that is part of us illuminating radiating our higher light then we recognize the perfection of it so this stargate that opened up around washington dc i recognize that that this beaming light the higher um contact of whether they're the Pleiadian ships or Astro Command or Octorians, Syrian, even let's say Aldarians or the Timoians or Materians, some of the other ones that most don't know about, they are part of us being able to open ourselves to support this dimensional conscious contact opening up for the ones that have not yet opened up. I hope that makes sense. So I really, I really felt humbled by the, by the dream and just acceptance of that truth. And hey, that's beautiful. Bring it on. Wonderful. And um, and the key is not okay. How much light language you speak? Show it off. It's none of that. It's actually quite a turn off. I have to say, it is about can you hone it? Can you serve? God's good will from it, God's good light from it, God's good love from it. Can you serve in the humility from there and really, really bring it through? That means that means that in which you have your attachment to cannot take part in this. And when you go today, when you go through this gateway, it's like yesterday. There is an octave of shift and it is holy shizzle shift. So are you able to then allow that higher love through the higher power, through the higher will to support you, own you, 
own the truth of what you are. So here's the one thing that I have to say that I'm so turned off about. I keep hearing within the spiritual community, well, I'm in the human experience. Well, this is the human experience. I have compassion for the human experience. Well, I'm not here. It's not taking it seriously, you know, not to have... I, I kind of want to gag from that, to be honest, because I feel if you're a volunteer soul, you're an earth mission here, you got a job to do. And if you got a job to do, flat out, it's a mission from the higher plane. And to me, there ain't no playing around. Yes, I do play. I do have fun. But it's very focused attention. And it's delivering delivering that call that means there's certain things I no longer have attachment that are of distraction of what this mission is because I know once I depart this plane where I'm going and from that it is the mighty call the mighty I am that theme is to be brought here that means I hold myself accountable responsible for that in which I am interacting with and that in which is being brought into my into my conscious awareness so that it can be transmuted back into light, whether it's the old program, conditioning, belief system, what have you, it has to be transmitted, it's got to be transmuted. So, so to me, I do take it pretty seriously and I like to interact with individuals who are responsible, who are mature to handle their power and they want to serve a lot of good with their mighty power because they've opened up to that and they know it's not about, oh, me, just this flaky energy. This flaky energy is ungrounded. It's such a turn off. <laughs> it's just a turn off for me. Anyway, having said that, um, much love, much love, much love. Uh, to all of you, thank you for being you. So, again, a couple of things. If the image is on my Facebook page, feel free to print it. Free gift from the higher plane to you, um, and may it serve you, may it assist you. For those of you that have asked several times, can you buy this painting? No, it's not for sale right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for generous offering as well. No, not right now. That's not a, however, a couple of you had asked, would I, um, would I print this and to put the crystals on it and all of that? Yes, my sacred brother, Neil Hart, he did create the file for me. That I will do. It can be as tall as, I don't know, the whole size of this room too. Uh, so I have to play with that first to see how good that comes. But uh, most important thing is first tap into your own divine will. Own that, do a lot of good with it. Let your higher, higher part of you really guides you. The higher part of you requires a higher will. You cannot do it without this, this flame that's so much bigger than you. So if you were to imagine it, it's going to be like about nine feet in front of you, nine feet behind you, nine feet to your left, nine feet to your right. You're sitting in it. It's got to be that large for you to transmute, transcend, all that is less than your divine perfection. And for you to realize you're just one expression as a human form. It is not the total truth of who and what you are. Once you recognize that, then you will honor this template in a very different way. You will be respect for it because it is doing the work on this plane, but your conscious awareness is from a complete different place. Anyway, much love. If the video helps you in any way, please feel free to share it. Love you all so much. Thank you so much. Let these light codes completely embrace you. Let it come through every organ, every cell, every electron, every molecule. Let the awakening of its remembrance of its eternal self at flame be fully ignited, activated in you so that all these other things that are part of its attachment in your emotional, mental, etheric, spiritual body can totally transmute and trans just transmute by the violet flame because you don't need it. It's not part of your total truth and you can't serve God's work on this plane, God's work, which is your holy God self, the Godhead. You won't be able to do it if you are just operating from this limited perception that, hey, you're here or the ones that are looking for a savior 
political figure, religious figure, a spouse, like as their freaking savior to come save this. No, it's you. Might as well look up to yourself. Look up to your higher being self and just do what you came here to do. Serve. Much love. Have a beautiful, blessed day, everyone. Thank you for being here.